What's good, YouTube? Crown Jewel from Crown Jewel Boxing. Back with a gem. Hit a milestone today, 800 subscribers. Thank you all, salute to y'all, appreciate you. All of y'all that thought enough of my content to actually subscribe and you know come back and watch videos more than once. Take the time to like, comment, share. I really appreciate you, thanks a lot. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Appreciate you rocking with me. With that being said, I had an opportunity to watch the Porter Way podcast um, with Tiafimo Lopez today. And um, <laughs> first thing I'm going to say, the same thing I said about another young fighter, um, these promoters and managers will be very well served to get some media training for their fighters. If they really care about these fighters and really want to invest in these fighters, um, they should have PR people and media training. Because um, I'm going to just say at this point, you know, um, Tiafimo Lopez has been in the public eye for a long time now and he's been competing at a high level for a long time now and um, he still uh, I hate to say it gives a horrible interview um, but it is what it is something I like to see change improve I think um, our young fighters will do a lot better financially will be viewed a lot better be taken a lot more seriously if they're able to um represent themselves a little better verbally when they're being asked questions or uh, conducting an interview. But I will say um, there was a few high points in this interview where he said things that, you know, weren't profound or nothing like that, but actually piqued my interest. Um, one being, um, he said that Devin Haney, according to him, I don't know how true it is, um, ducked him. And he said on two different occasions, he tried to make a fight with Devin Haney. Lastly, was when Devin and Regis's talks had hit a stall. You know, he said he contacted Devin and um, tried to make a fight between the two of them. And he actually referenced Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Like, you know, we can get together and make this happen between us. And he said Devin didn't want to work with the promoter that he's affiliated with. We all know that's Bob Arum, so that's why it didn't go anywhere. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what he said. Um, then he went on to say, um, basically, he wanted to knock Shakur Stevenson out for four million dollars, which was a little mind-boggling to me because of four million dollars is what you're looking to get. Probably should have took that Ryan Garcia fight because 1.5 guarantee and 50 percent of pay-per-view, you probably would have doubled that four million. But nonetheless, you didn't take it, and he said he's willing to fight Shakur for four million, which is the point of this video, really. And that is how you can go from the hunter and probably the most avoided fighter in boxing to the hunted and now most wanted fighter in boxing. And um, that's all it takes. One off night, one lackluster night, and guys are beating down your door. Everybody's calling you out. Why? Because <laughs> they think you're an easy win now. They think it's sweet. And, they, you know, you got a decent name still, and they want to be the first to benefit from having your name on that resume before it's destroyed, which is how they look at it. I'm not saying that's the case, but that's how they're viewing it. That could be a blessing in disguise for you, Shakur. If you the fighter I think you are, and you say you think you are, you, be, you may be in the best spot you could possibly be in right now, because all these guys that were apprehensive about fighting you before, oh, they want that smoke now. They want it now. All you got to do is get in shape <laughs> and take numbers. Take names and numbers because they're coming. Like I said, it, it lets you know, you know, these guys talk about they want to fight the best. If they want to fight the best, why are they so eager to fight a guy every time he has a bad showing? I.e., Devin Haynes fighting Regis after Regis had a bad show in his last fight. Like I said, Ryan Garcia, Tiafimo Lopez, everybody calling Shakur right now because he had a lackluster performance. But again, instead of looking at it as a negative chant, Look at this as a positive. You have every opportunity to prove yourself now. Nobody's running away no more. Now they're running to you. It's time to lace them up. Show the world what you made of, champ. We got faith in you here in Jersey. Go show, go show them how Jersey get down. Like I said, you know, you went from the hunter to the hunted. And I believe it's a blessing in disguise. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Until next time, keep your hands up, your chin down, your ass off the floor. Peace.